Not too long ago, I did a video about how the Rebel Alliance learned the Empire was constructing a second Death Star. The basics are that Crimson Dawn agents who were on the construction team itself escaped and let them know after receiving orders from Kira. That sparked a lot of comments about the Bothans. Weren't they the ones that told the Rebels about the Death Star? Is this a retcon? What is happening? So today, I'm going to clear up some misconceptions. Here is what Mon Mothma says about the Bothans in Return of the Jedi. The data brought to us by the Bothan spies pinpoint the exact location of the Emperor's new battle station. We also know that the weapon systems of this Death Star are not yet operational. With the Imperial fleet spread throughout the galaxy in a vain effort to engage us, it is relatively unprotected. But most important of all, we've learned that the Emperor himself is personally overseeing the final stages of the construction of this Death Star. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. First, I just want to point out Mothma's pause after mentioning the sacrifices made by the Bothan spies, because I think it's relevant to her portrayal in Andor and what makes her such a good leader. She's not like Luthan Rail, who acts like he's playing chess where pawns can be thrown away without a thought. No, she feels every loss. She knows sacrifices are necessary, but those sacrifices mean something to her. Since we're talking about the scene, I wanted to connect her characterization to Andor because I think they're nailing it. But back to the topic at hand, the Bothans brought in four key pieces of information as I see it. The exact location of the base, the fact that its weapons weren't operational, the fact that it wasn't defended, and the presence of the Emperor. The comic tells us that the Rebels simply knew of the Death Star's existence beforehand. They just knew it was being built, but they didn't know where it was. The comic doesn't place its initial construction at Endor, so it probably moved after the Crimson Dawn agents escaped, just like the original Death Star Star's construction relocated to Scarif after Geonosis. I will say that this does not line up with the crawl for Return of the Jedi, which says, little does Luke know that the Galactic Empire has secretly begun construction on a new armored space station even more powerful than the first dreaded Death Star. But whatever. It's not like Luke learning about the second Death Star is a big plot point of the film. The crawl is more to inform the audience than it is to be actual in-universe plot. It's not like those words are literally flying through space somewhere. We can chalk that up to the Wills making a mistake in their writing, and if you haven't read their stories in the From a Certain Point of View books, you should. They are very funny, and they often tackle inconsistencies exactly like this one. So that's the canon story squared away, but I would be remiss if I didn't cover Legends as well, because in the old books and comics, Yes, the Bothans learned about the second Death Star's construction through Black Sun instead of Crimson Dawn. They informed the Rebellion, and then Luke Skywalker, Dash Rindar, and several Bothans stole the plans for the battle station together. So in Legends... Yeah, the Bothans learn just about everything about the second Death Star. Its existence, the plans, its location, its functionality, its defenses, and the Emperor's presence. In canon, Crimson Dawn takes credit for leaking its existence, and the theft of the plans are still up in the air. But that's it for today. I just wanted to clear up what the Bothans did and didn't do in both canon and legends. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always... Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.